and we're back. Chapter 2. Uh, if you didn't see Chapter 1, you might want to go back and read that, but here we go. Kia woke up, disoriented and queasy. Are you alright, kid? Two police officers stood over Kia. He couldn't form any words in his mouth. He had lost the ability to even look around. You're going to be alright, the cop said, trying to comfort him. The man you were with, Hollywood, he was a wanted fugitive. We've been looking for him for years. Kia couldn't quite comprehend their words. He was really dizzy and tired. That man, the tallest police officer, started whom happened to be Jamaican. That man was an international drug dealer who sold to other dealers. He had, he had a huge market with Hollywood, sorry for that laugh. He had a huge market with Hollywood sensation, Dentricos. The name, permanent memories of a friend to Keo, named Adair. Adair had practically worse than Dentricos, and happened to have had official autographed Dentricos merchandise. Where can I go? Keo was feeling too tired to fully comprehend anything they said. Well, we'll lead you in for questioning. The leader of the investigation squad find this drug ring. Codename Realistic Waters needs you for questioning. On top of that, you seem to have ingested some of Hollywood's special batch. Special? Keo shrugged his tired eyes, now fully awake. What was special about it? What you drunk appears to, what you drunk appears to have been hallucinogenic, which with highly addictive toxins. You will be addicted to anything that even resembles the drug you took. After questioning, we will contact your parents. And you can go home. Kyo knew he couldn't do that. He had to be a, the clown he always wanted to be. The clown he always needed to be. He came up with an escape plan. Operation Sir K was a go. Kyo followed the men, headed down for questioning. He carefully scanned the surrounding area as he walked past. He memorized the route and where it was going. Consume me, a voice in Kyo's head started to say. Melod, Melod, why do I... Melodically, have me. Every time Keo blinked and saw an image of the liquor bottle he had drunk from, he snapped back to reality. He needed to know where he was going. He saw a door across the hall, almost certainly where he'd be held for questioning by realistic waters. He knew it would be too late for him if he went that far. It was now or never. Ah! The Jamaican officer next to Keo yelled. What's in my eyes, Mon? The other officer came to help him. Keo took this opportunity to add itching powder to the other guard's face. Kyo always kept something in his shoes just in case. It was an unconventional clown tool, but an effective and practical one nonetheless. Kyo sprinted as hard as he could. He knew to get caught was to admit certain doom to his hopes and dreams. He couldn't let his parents catch him. They would never give him the chance to run away again. He was so close to getting to the clown school, too. Alarm started to go off as Kyo ran. He tried his best to memorize the path, although he had done far. I'm perfect. He saw a sign labeled Front Exit, Mutations Lab. Keo really wanted to see this mutation lab, but he knew he had to get away. Crash! Keo looked to the source of the sound, in the direction to his right. It was something that near perfectly resembled the Tauros. The Tauros charged it. What up? Keo looked at his clown shoes. They were bright red. Uh oh, Keo thought. The Tauros charged at Keo. He had to think fast. He jumped just as the Tauros ran past him. He jumped to the height where he was situated on the back of the Tauros perfectly when he fell. Kyo saw men chasing him and the Tauros as they ran towards the exit. Kyo held onto the Tauros tightly with as much strength as he could. He'd always been rather wimpy, but this endorphins rushing through his body gave him strength to hold on. Kyo and the Tauros raced through the exit. He had done it. Operation Sirke had been a success. Kyo knew that at this point he had two things to do. 1. Make a disguise so nobody would try to send him into the authorities after recognize him. 2. Get to Razor's clown school and become a clown. Yeah! Keo yelled as he raced through the night with his Tauros. Well, that was it. Chapter 2 of Clowny Adventures with Clef Keo. I don't know why I said that, but that's why I saved the first one as. Uh, see you next time. Bye.